Hey, what's going on guys? James Madison Oz here. We're in New Smyrna Beach at the lifeguard station right now. And we just had a report went out with a gentleman that uh, got, we'll call it arrested, handcuffed, and issued a notice to appear for stopping and filming on the beach while he was out riding his bike and exercising. So we're gonna come up here and see what these guys are doing. Looks like right now they're blocking the handicap access point. So we're gonna come up here. Looks like this is a an area here where you can come in and do some you stuff. But as you can see right here, as I walk through here, got this blocked. Parking disabled, two hundred dollar fine. There, there we go. They're vacuuming out. It's kind of a weird situation here, but it is in fact marked where they go, and they just do what they want essentially. So as you come down here, this, like I said, this area, um, a gentleman got handcuffed and put in his place there. So we're going to walk back and forth and see if we get handcuffed and put in our place. Check it. I don't know if this is an open area or not, but looks like it. So we're going to see, just like I said, doing our exercises here. See if this guy likes it right here. Question for you, real quick. I have a question. I have a question for you. Hey, I the yeah, the handicap spot over there is that normally blocked? It's not open for the public. It isn't. So what? It, so who parks there with handicap? Do you have handicap life, lifeguards? Not this time. We don't. Not no. this time. Okay. So I'm just still doing some exercising right now, just making sure. Okay. That's good. Don't forget your seatbelt. That's a 316 614 statute. Put that on. It's taxpayer money. If you get hurt, put it on. You're now on the roadway, no seatbelt, sir. Still doing my exercise. Put the seatbelt on, taxpayer money, liability. So he said that this is not public access. Still working, I'm doing my leg lifts. Do not enter vehicles, so this is a, not a public access area. Well, what do you have it here for then? There we go. But as always, they just do what they want. And even though they have a handicapped spot here. So we'll see if we can reach out to ADA. I don't know if you guys can reach out to ADA. Help me out here with that. Um, it makes no sense to have that here then, right? But it is 194109. Maybe this guy. All right, I'm watching him. He doesn't have a seatbelt on. No seatbelt on. Oh, hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Hey, doing good. I just know she, I guess, issued that citation for that car down there. Um, parked on the roadway? Yeah. But then you're on the roadway not wearing your seatbelt. Okay. 316 614, subsection um, 4B or 4A or 1? Yeah, I'm not sure what it is off the top of my head. You don't know what the law is? Not off the top of my head. Not off the top of your head. Of course he doesn't know what the law is, not off the top of his head. They want to do so much 
to us, issue citations. That was Officer Dixon, by the way. But they're able to ultimately do whatever they want. Uh, all of this area does not have anything where it says like authorized personnel only. I checked it again, looking everywhere like that. So we're gonna walk around, keep this up. And those vehicles in here are just, they're probably all their vehicles, so you can see. So that was a TE. 3484. Little Jeeps. <whistles> That's how that goes. Doing my leg. I'm 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 trying to touch my toes, guys. Me and my flip flops. Checking my flip flops, stretching a little bit, keeping my outdoor exercising going. So Officer Dixon over there does not know state statute. Not at all. Looks like he's going to be vacuuming some cars out. 291, nothing here. Yeah. Doing some more legs. Because apparently if you're not exercising or doing something along those lines, you're going to get a ticket. Now guess what? This guy that got this ticket here, um, he got the citation and ultimately what the citation says is that you can pay this fine for $50 and it's just a civil penalty and everything is no contest on it. And from there, what happens is that if you contest it, you can be convicted and made guilty of a misdemeanor. So that's how they legally extort you with those citations and do it that way. So, so we wanted to see if, if we're gonna have any trouble with them over here continuing my apparent movement go from here so that's the way it works I, w I couldn't even imagine how dirty these cars get they got to be dirty like all the time so. do some stretches now, mind you, she was just in this car cleaning uh, just a minute ago. So, doing a little bit of maintenance. How you doing? Doing great. Right. Can we help you with anything? Are you a supervisor at all? Yeah, I am. Are you a sergeant? Can we help you? I, no, I was just doing some exercise. Felt like this is the safest place safe, to be. Safest place? All right, be careful. These vehicles move around. We can't Hey, just well. be careful. Your OC spray is un unlatched in the back back there. Thank you very much. All right, got I it. I appreciate it. Yeah. You're just really going to sit in the middle of our parking lot while we're trying to get done. It's it's our parking lot. It's a city. You know, it's we're taxpayers. I'm just still doing some exercising. Okay. Um, well, you know, that's the beach, but... I'm not arguing the point with just be careful when we back around, we can't see. Actually, you guys got to be careful when you back up, not me. You're standing in the middle of a parking lot. I'm standing in the middle of a parking lot that's in a car that's parked in a handicapped spot. Okay. That's right, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Have a great day. Yeah. But that's okay though, right? Leaving it here? Hey, Sergeant, just so I have your name, what's your name? I'm not talking to you, sir. You're not talking to me? What's your name? You make contact with me after you can help me. Yep. It is a violation of your policy, is it not? Not to identify yourself? That's what I'm asking. You can give me an ID name if you want. No name. 
I'm sorry? Sergeant Wise. Sergeant Wise. That OC yes, is, is still open back there. Got it. You don't want to take care of it? That's officer safety. It's not OC. Okay, whatever so, it is. Don't worry about it. What is that? You're not concerned about my stuff. I got okay. trained in OC spray. That looks like OC spray to me. Great. Officer Wise. Not so wise today, though. Officer Dixon, all right. I think he's versed on the statute, 316-614 now. All in all, not too bad. This just is a result of when you handcuff and arrest someone for filming. I want to see if they'll do the same thing. Hey, Officer Dixon, on, on a serious note, how long do the vehicles last? They last like about three years because of the rust. You ain't having any talk with me. Ah! You wouldn't want to happen to write a ticket for that tent on that truck below the AS1 line, would you? Didn't think so. <laughs> you, can, you can film whatever you want there, sir. No, no, I'm saying that's that's one of your, your employees' vehicles with a tent below the AS1 line. Okay. You don't care? You don't care. But he just wrote a ticket for parking in the street, rode in without his seatbelt on. Okay. That's okay? Nope. I'm not just saying I hear you. Okay, you hear me. I, you're yep. acknowledging it. I got you. Very cool. Officer Wise, or Sergeant Wise, yep. All right, there we go. I guess they're getting the point now. We'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching, liking, and subscribing. Looks like they're gonna go help someone over here. Uh, so this is another handicapped parking spot over here. If you are handicapped, you, you can do that. You can park here without any charge. They normally charge $15 for cash or credit card, and you can pull in here and park. But other than that, uh, anywhere you have a, a, a facility that charges, if there's a handicapped spot, the ADA has made it so that you do not have to pay to park in those spots for handicapped spots. Because normally, $15 to park here. I think that was probably me? Yes, sir. No, this is the first time I've come out here. Oh. So don't speak for me. I said it don't was defame wrong. don't defame my character against what he was saying. Sir, you never introduce yourself, so I don't know. Hi, my name is Chris, uh, uh, Sergeant right. Wise. So we talked on the phone. Yep. Yeah, Sergeant Wise, we, yeah, we did. I talked to the deputy chief and told him I'd be down here, and he probably relayed that information. And then I get down here, and there's like a plethora of, of violations, like seatbelts not in use when they're on the roadway, and then and then writing people tickets for that. But 